Hi, everyone. Along with Julia Haskins and Connor Real, I'm Brian Smith, and welcome to the Friday Night Huddle. Let's get right to it. Our game of the week, a tale of two programs at a pivotal moment, literally as a school and as a season. Lake Taylor playing host to a resurgent Granby High School. Connor Real, take it from here, please. Yeah, Brian, and this is also a pivotal moment for us as an intellectual department. There was a science controversy in our pregame show. We're talking about the Granby Comets. I described Comets as hot. Nicole said, Connor, I went to George Mason University. I don't think that's true. Turns out Nicole was right. Comets start out full of ice, icy chunks. That was the first eight minutes of this game. A defensive battle. Neither offense could move the ball a bit. However, Nicole... I went to Virginia Tech, and they taught us a few things there as well. Turns out comets do heat up as they approach the surface of the sun. That was the Granby offense for the remainder of this game, thanks in large part to Christian Post and his comet-like arm. The touchdown pass to get things going late in the first quarter, 7 nothing, and it was all comets from there. How about Drevion Farrington with the touchdown run? Most of their touchdowns came through the air. This one came from Farrington on the ground on the direct snap. So 14 nothing Granby at Lake Taylor. You expect the Titans to come back, but Post would ensure that that doesn't happen. This is a beautiful toss here to Eamon Cuffey. So it's 20 to nothing Granby, and they would make it 27 to nothing at the half. This is Cuffey again, but he does most of the work on this one. You see the pink gloves, you see the pink shoes, and you see them in the end zone. 27 0 at the half. They would slow down a bit in the second. But it would have plenty of juice to finish this thing off. 34 to 2 on the trick play. 41 to 2 is your final. These Granby comments, we had to make sure they were for real. This was a statement game. Now, Julia Haskins, do you like science? I like science. Not much of a, what did you call it? An ice, ice? Icy chunks. Icy, icy chunks, chunks in the um, comments. No icy chunks over here, but we've got some hot. Com not comments, but you'll see. We've got a Southeastern District showdown. Deep Creek on the road at Western Branch. Deep Creek, they were starting out hot. Midway through the second, Hornets strike first. Brock Hoffman, a Hunter Barnes rolling in for a 7-0 advantage. Bruins never really got going, but next time down for Deep Creek, Chandler Stevenson getting the first down there, but leave it to Brayon Cuffey finishing this thing off to put the Hornets up 14 all at the break. Deep Creek wins that one over Western Branch 28 to 7. Now after going toe to toe with Kings Fork last week, Indian River traveled to Oscar Smith tonight. Wild final minutes here. Braves down 21 14. Final drive. We've got Ravon Moore cruising for the first down. But hold up now. Tyler Allison. How about 41 yards downfield to Travion Slaughter with 153 to go, game tied at 21. But the Tigers come roaring back, final Hail Mary play. A shot to win it, Lonnie Andrews heaves it. Who's he got? Travis Johnson with the grab with zero time left on the clock. Oscar Smith wins that one over Indian River, 27-21. To the beach area scores. We've got Kempsville over Landstown, Green Run over Bayside, Salem winning over First Colonial 23 to 6, Tallwood falling to Kellum, Ocean Lakes over Princess Anne, Kings Fork over Grassfield. A little bit more for you, Norfolk Christian over Isle of Wight, and Catholic getting blanked by Nansman Suffolk Academy 36 nothing. Well, one game that couldn't be any bigger tonight than was for bragging rights in the city of Williamsburg. Lafayette taking on unbeaten Warhill. Winner essentially gets the inside track of taking the Bay Rivers District title. Let's pick things up. Third quarter, Warhill's Liam Francisque. Quarterback sneak that gets the Lions within four at 17 to 13. Rams stretch the lead to 20-13, but Warhill not backing down. Francisque, seven-yard toss to Ron Foskett, and they were deadlocked to 20 all. Lions driving again for the potential game winner. 17 seconds left. Francisque, five-yard quarterback keeper, and that was your game winner. Warhill, a thriller over Lafayette, 27 to 20. Let's head back to the south side. Dere McCain and his Maury squad unbeaten, taking on Manor. They took control from this from the very beginning. First quarter, no score. Atori Newkirk, the sweet first down pass to Jaden Avery. 
That would be Mustang 6. It set up this 11-yard score from Melvin Lowe and a 7-0 Commodores lead. It was the running game that was definitely doing the difference. Damari Palmer, short yard, four-yard score to make it 14-0. They drop a double nickel on him. Final 55 to zip. It was homecoming at Booker T. Washington. They hosted Norview. Booker's led 20 nothing in halftime. And yeah, isn't it nice to be the home king, homecoming king, if possible? Uh, they want to take care of business, too. That would be Kwame Smith up top. Nice catch by Jeremiah Marks to the 10. It set up this 10-yard toss. Smith to Mark Watkins made it 28 nothing. Booker T. just was devastating and included defensively too. How about Jonathan Ennis? The interception and he likes house music because that's where he was headed. Booker's win big over the Pilots 34 to 6. Of course, no report from Virginia Episcopal Greenbrier Christian, but winners also include Great Bridge, Nansman River, Bethel, Bacosin, as well as Grafton and Portsmouth Christian a winner. So, yeah.